Hello, plant friends. Hope you guys are all doing well and staying happy and healthy out there in real life land. Today, we're gonna talk about this. Yeah, this thing. So if any of you guys have looked into grow lights, thought about grow lights, bought grow lights, you've probably come across something like this. Um, maybe not this specific one. This one is from Bright Labs, who was gracious enough to send me this and also sponsor this uh, video. Um, but you've probably seen something like this, this like tri-leg, tri-arm thing. Lots of them on Amazon. You see them in like white, red, blue, right? Multiple color lights, different sizes. And are they any good? Um, is there a utility for these type of lights, you know, in an indoor growing environment? I will honestly tell you that I have always been very, very skeptical of these types of lights. First of all, um, they always seemed sort of a bit flimsy, at least the models that I've seen on Amazon. The lights were never really bright, right? I've always gravitated towards really intense light, light that like when you turn it on, you're like, ah, right? Right, like intensity, you know, that's so intense that, you know, you can like use it to ward off intruders in your house, right? Or, or blind people. Um, so I felt that like these lights were never, were never that, intense. Um, the third thing is that I always were, you know, a lot of these lights were always from, you know, questionable or unknown manufacturers. So I always had this thing like, are they, are they going to catch on fire? Like how, how safe and reliable are they? Are they just going to like, you know, die out after a week of using them. So those were always sort of my hesitations with with models similar to the to this one. Um, and I always gravitated towards you know bigger lights, right? Uh, <laughs> more intense lights. So so that's you know that's always been you know where I've stood. And I assume that a lot of these are thoughts that have been going through your minds in in thinking about this you know type this type of light as well. But, you know, in our recent episode of about grow lights, and if you haven't seen it, I'll, I'll link it up here and I'll link it in the description. Uh, Jeff Shang, who's a professor, he, he had this great, great explanation on, you know, grow lights and, and how much light intensity, volume is sort of needed for optimal growth of, you know, indoor uh, plants. So he even had something like this in his place, even though his place had, you know, tons and tons of light, really, really well lit. There is a, there is a role for, you know, something like this. Uh, so the roles I've identified is that one, obviously if you have a very limited space or a funky space where you can't really fit a massive grow light, right? Um, these, these are an option, right? These are, you know, they're flexible. You can, you can sort of, you know, move them and maneuver them wherever you want them to be. This particular model from Bright Labs uh, even has, you know, these like reflectors back here. So it can like have, you know, light from other sources can bounce off. So yeah, so if you sort of have like a funky space, right? This is, this is something that could be, you know, very, very useful to you. The other is that like if you have a really sort of a really small space where the light, like the only way you can add a grow light or fit a grow light is if the light is really close to your plant. So let's say you're like crammed up and your plant's like right here and the only way you can fit a light is that, you know, the light has to be this close to your plant. You know, in, in that sort of situation, lights like these can be very, very helpful because when your light is that close to your plant, it may not be the best idea to have the most intense light, right? Um, if you watch that video uh, with Jeff, Jeff explains that, you know, sometimes, well, oftentimes, a lot of the times we, we can tend to over light or provide too much light to some of these plants and cause light stress, right? So, so yeah, so if you know, you have a plant right here and your light sort of has to be this close to it, um, you would want something that maybe is not that intense. So uh, a lot of these, you know, 
less intense a lot of these models do have less intense lighting. The third place I feel like it might play a role or they, these type of lights would have utility is, um, you know, for the crevices, sort of the under foliage. So if you think about plants uh, and you're, you know, you're shining sort of a light towards them, uh, basically the plants that are on top, right, or jetting out, right, the, the plants on the superficial surface those leaves are getting most of that light, right? But what about the underbelly, right? What about the space, the leaves, the smaller plants that's under the main foliage? Those leaves and those plants down there are not getting as much light as the top and the superficial leaves. So, so maybe, you know, you would want, I guess, if you were really optimizing things, to put something like this on the underbelly, right? A directed towards the underbelly of, of the plant or those leaves to optimize uh, the light that those leaves are getting. Just an option for you guys to, to think about uh, because I think that that's probably uh, you know, a place that you know, lights like these would have good utility. Let's talk about this model that was generously, generously given to us. Uh, um, so this is, uh, again, from Bright Labs, and they gave me this three arms or, or legs or whatever you call them. And, um, you know, really, really sturdy, really, really hefty <laughs> is what I, I can say. Uh, these are LED lights. It seems to uh, run around like 3,000 Kelvins. Okay, there's a, there's a clamp here. The clamp uh, very thoughtfully has you know, this like soft surface here so that uh, it doesn't harm whatever you're clipping into. Very, very robust, <laughs> very robust clamp. Like you really need to really muscle this one in. And uh, here's the, here's the uh, switch, <laughs> remote, whatever you want to call it. Um, so let's, let's turn this, let's turn this guy on, All right? Uh, yeah, uh, the, the, at 3000 Kelvin, it's not, right, it's not like, wow, right, you can like still look at this, not that you would want to look at this directly for that long, but you can still look at this and not die, right? <laughs> okay, and then um, there's different intensities, all right, so you can do it, uh, different intensities. I generally, for, for something like this, I would just max out the intensity, unless, unless uh, it's, it's sort of too bright you know, for you to be comfortable in your own home. But, but for these little, you know, for these types of lights, I, I always think that maxing out the intensity is probably the better way to go just because their intensity overall is generally less than your bigger, you know, lights, right? Um, let me see what else is there. Oh, you can, oh, well, there you go. You can <laughs> turn whatever that right okay that that's an option that you guys can do uh, for this light and then there's also sort of a timer I think you can set this uh, to turn off or on you know in three hours six hours nine hours the duration in which uh, this guy can stay on uh, I probably I probably don't think that's you know for most serious planters uh, that's probably not an option that you'll probably use Often, I feel that a lot of planters will have sort of their whole system on a, a timer, right? Like an outlet hub of some sort. So I would just probably hook this guy up to some sort of like timing outlet or hub so that uh, it can turn on that way and not, and not uh, or it can be regulated that way and not by, you know, by this, this timer option that's inherently built into this, but hey, it's still an option, right? Uh, it's always good to have more options than, than less options, right? So, all right, guys. So sort of uh, that's, you know, that's what's little spiel for this episode. Um, okay, so again, this is from Bright Labs. Uh, thank you so much for letting us sort of uh, have this and look, about the, and look at this and also talk about these type of lights because, because I know that um, these lights are, you know, they're, they're all over the place and it's good to know what they're good for and what they may not be good for as well. Okay. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Till next time, happy planting.